Welcome to Napkin Theology. In today's Napkin Theology, we'll continue our discussion of prayer. In Matthew chapter 6, 9 through 13, we have the Lord's Prayer, which we could also understand as the model prayer. Now remember, we said that a great outline for prayer includes three parts. First, we have praise, where we focus our words and attention on God above. Next, we give ourselves to God in a manner similar to how Paul says in Galatians chapter 2 that he has crucified himself with Christ and that the life he lives, he lives by faith in the Son of God who loved him and gave himself for him. And then finally, we ask for our daily needs. Well, the Lord's Prayer, or the model prayer in Matthew 6, 9 through 13, follows that same outline. For example, in verse 9, we begin by saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed, or praised, or honored be thy name. And then, in verse 10, we give ourselves to God, saying, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And finally, we make our requests in verses 11 through 13. We ask God by saying, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And so in Matthew 6, 9 through 13, the Lord's Prayer, we have three elements of a great prayer life. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Napkin Theology, where we help you better understand and communicate your faith using simply a napkin and a pen. And be sure to check out Napkin Theology's home at napkinvideo.com.